A slew of research and attention has been given to peonies in recent years, but research on growing other cut flowers in Fairbanks and Alaska has been limited in the last decade. To get an idea of which cut flowers are growing well in Fairbanks in recent years, I asked a few farmers about their go-to cut flowers for creating unique, locally grown bouquets. Hi, I'm Heidi Rader here in the Alaska Garden. I'm an associate professor of extension with the University of Alaska Fairbanks and I'm gonna talk all about growing vegetables, flowers, and berries productively and sustainably in Alaska. Hi there, my name's Megan Schultz and I'm the owner of Frontiers Farm and this is her. Megan Schultz at Frontiers Farm likes to grow vegetables and flowers. She offers a CSA, sells flowers at the farmer's market, and makes beautiful wreaths with dried flowers. She grows flowers as a way to express her creative side and feed the soul. Flowers express emotion when words falter and cultivate positive connections to each other in nature. Megan also likes to incorporate foliage from the surrounding boreal forest to make the bouquets feel wild and unique. Krista Haranga at Far North Flowers is a peony farmer, but began offering mixed flower bouquets featuring peonies for a CSA five years ago that now has 50 members. Some of her favorite flowers are snapdragons because they cut and come again. Bachelor buttons because their super bright blue color contrasts with the peonies, and salvia because of its hardy flower, long bloom time, and base life. She says her customers like flowers that they can dry, such as paper daisy or straw flowers. Caitlin Huff with Arctic Blooms and Bouquets has loved flowers since she was a girl, but got into the flower farming business when she moved into a house in Fairbanks with 600 peonies. She uses caterpillar tunnels to give her flowers a three-week jump start in the spring and to give some heat-loving flowers, for example, cosmos, zinnias, amaranth, and celosia, an extra boost. Last fall, she planted hundreds of tulips and is eagerly awaiting to see them pop up this spring. Growing tulips and other bulbs in Fairbanks can be hit or miss. Dialing in bloom times for some flowers like dahlias has been a challenge because it varies by type and with the growing season. She said establishing perennials has also taken some work. Here were some of their recommendations along with some of my own to get you started on growing your own cut flower garden best showstopper centerpiece flowers, best texture slash filler flowers or foliage, flowers that hold up well in a vase, flowers that don't last long in the vase, best perennial flowers, best flowers for a beginning gardener, best direct seeded flowers. One of the big considerations when growing cut flowers in Fairbanks is growing healthy starts. First, this involves starting them at the right time for optimal bloom time. Megan says she starts almost all of her flowers indoors to take advantage of our short growing season. She said the very early varieties like Icelandic poppies, ranunculus, and rudbeckia she starts in March, but are very worth it. Caitlin has tried Lysianthus before and would like to try it again, but that requires starting seeds in January, and she is not keen on starting it so early. Krista began with direct seeded varieties, but realized she needed to start most of the flowers indoors to be successful. Unfortunately, this last spring, she lost about 40% of her seedlings, so she is still working on growing healthy starts. To further extend the season, you could consider frost-tolerant flowers. Flowers should be planted in well-drained, fertile soil, deadheaded regularly, and staked. Drip irrigation works well with flowers and many other vegetables. If you've never heard of some of these flowers, you can find a nice visual in the links at the bottom of this video to see what they look like. Cut flowers when they are not fully in bloom or past the optimal bloom 
To extend the vase life, cut the stems at an angle, recut them every few days, and change the water regularly. Add a little sugar or 7-Up and a few drops of chlorine bleach and chill the flowers at night. For more inspiration on what types of flowers to grow in your area or information on where you can buy flowers locally, check the links in the bottom of this video.